All right, guys, another day as a business owner, we have a big situation. We drove 600 miles, we're in Michigan, we're at our client. It's a regular client, I normally don't do this and just come 600 miles. We get here, the one car is in the condition I thought it was, the other car, transmission shot, we can't get it up. So now I have two dilemmas. First of all, I have to try to come up with a better deal for the client, the client's not happy. Number two, Transport has a two car trailer. They're coming to get both cars tonight. Best case scenario, we buy both cars, we get them back, we make money on both cars. Worst case scenario, we take one car and we pay double Transport, unfortunately. And we'll see what it is. Let's go outside and take a look at these cars. The first one, if you saw our previous YouTube video called the Dark Rider Mustang, I bought this car already uh, in PA. It was a client, he was a Vietnam vet. He passed away, went to his son. I bought it, sold it to this guy in Michigan, or my regular client. And now he's liquidating all his cars, and this is one of them. Check it out, guys. It's, the trim piece came off. Other than that, it's still in decent shape. It's got one little piece of uh, bubbling starting here. A little bit here. It stood in the garage, so it's basically same shape as it was before. It starts up. I did notice a little leak on it. Looks like it's got a uh, fuel leaking out of the carburetor, which we'll adjust that once we get it back to PA. But other than that, it's, like I said, it's almost in the same shape. We're missing an emblem here, we'll put that on. But otherwise, it's in good shape. It, this car was a solid car. It runs good, it drives good. The tires are brand new on it, BF Goodrich tires. I already bought this car, and again, it's stood in the garage the whole time. There's not much difference about this car. A trim piece is sitting over there, so we can put that back on. This is a solid car. We should be able to get this car out, back to PA, fix it up. I actually already have it sold to another client. I promised them that. We'll make a couple grand on it, keep it moving. And then you come over here, we have this 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. This one is a gold color. It's mechanically sound. The client said that they did disc brakes to it. They put the uh, Willwood brake system on it. It's power steering. It's, uh, they put on, uh, what is it? Power brakes onto it. It's got upgraded wheels on it, upgraded tires. Suspension's been done to it. Mechanically, it was supposed to be sound. We get here and we put it in gear. It moves a little bit in reverse. It will not move it forward at all. It's dead. It's not going in gear. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. We let it warm up and still nothing. Check the transmission fluid. Transmission fluid's halfway. So it seems like there's an internal problem with the transmission. Normally I buy this car, take it back to PA and we'll, we'll drop it and see what the problem is with it. But I can't get this up on our truck. We ain't got a winch. I didn't come with my own truck. I have somebody meeting us here with a two car hauler and they don't have a winch. It's got a 289 V8 in it, automatic transmission. It doesn't have much rust on it. If you look underneath this car, floor pans were done, torque boxes were done. The undercarriage is immaculate. It's in great shape underneath for a Michigan car. If this car ran and drove, and with all the mechanical stuff he did to it, it's got a little bit of body work it needs. This would be a solid car just to get in and drive. Now the seals on this car would need to be replaced if we did buy it. We got a puddle of water in here. If you look underneath there, look, we got antifreeze leaking. You got coolant leaking from it. So it was supposed to be mechanically sound, but it's not. We got coolant leak. We have transmission problems. This is something that we cannot make money on getting it back to PA. There's no reason for us to take this. The problem is when you do a deal like this and we already came up with a price, at least we're buying one and we should make money on it. We were expecting a certain amount of profit coming here because we had two cars we were going to sell. To pay for four guys total to be here and we're only getting one car, that's half the income, half the profit we were going to get. And that doesn't cover a lot of our costs. So this trip might be a waste, but it's really not because when the guy came out, I had Ben go inside. I had him off camera because our client did not feel comfortable. Our client's sick. The great thing is we prayed for our client. Our client, he said he believed in God but he didn't, you know, he said there's different paths and he wasn't sure. And I told him our testimony, how, what God did in my life. And I told him Jesus is the only way. So it was not a waste today. It was a good day, if anything. Overall, the cars, you know, wasn't what we expected. It's a little different. We, we were thought we were gonna hit a home run on both cars and talk to this guy. We're gonna do good on one car and we'll pay for most of our expenses and we might make a little bit of profit. All right, guys, check it out. We were down the street, went to a Planet Fitness, used the bathroom, and I was kind of bummed we didn't buy this car. 
I called transport and got a new transporter that said that they would be able to pick it up as an in-op. I called the client and said, listen, we came all this way. Can you work out a deal with us? We want the car still, but it needs additional work. The client was awesome. They worked with us. We got the car at the right price. We bought it. We're going to go back to PA with it now, fix it. We got another Mustang. So we got two. It, was, it went from two to one, and now we're back to two. We got two. We're going to stay here an extra day. We'll be home tomorrow night late. You parked in the middle or you parked at the at the end? Are you parked in the driveway? Over there. We got to go, boys. We got the call. Let's go. Can you check to see if this key works? Yes, we have you off the car. Okay. Speaking like I don't understand push English. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's like push up, reverse. <laughs> on the truck guys we're ready to go what's your name my name is Irakali say it again Irakali Irakali come on Yo, oh, Irakali, let's nice. go buddy let's go <laughs> we got it loaded we're getting ready to go back to PA with the two stangs the trouble two some come on guys let's go <laughs> this is the reason why I wanted this car Matt so bad this undercarriage is all done if you look at this one it's clean as well so both these cars are clean undercarriages and minimal rust, which is hard to find a good Mustang. Especially up in here in Michigan. Well, yeah, because they were well, one from PA, the other one was Michigan, but it was garage kept. And the great thing is, it's hard. The ones that are perp, like undercarriage are perfect condition. They're twenty-five thousand. Now I don't sell them for anywhere near that price. So I get somebody a good deal and they have a good car and it's a, a nice driver. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, yeah. Georgia Europe country. Georgia. Yes, I know, yeah. I know where you're from. Where we're from, that's all there is is Georgia people. Uh, bread, you know bread? 
You know? Georgia, good yeah. Just picked up the Mustangs. We got this baby here. We were able to get the gold one from yesterday. We got them both loaded up. It was a little difficult, but we have four guys. We made it happen. We got it up. We are getting ready to head out of here. Transportation is going to meet us tonight at 11 o'clock at the shop. We have them both. We're headed back home. We will see you guys next week. Appreciate you. It's a travel day for us. We might fill you in a little bit on what we eat and stuff, but nothing car related. We will Listen, see. I appreciate your business. Great deal. There's your check. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Check them out, guys. Yeah. Great transportation company. <laughs> Say hi to your mom. Yeah. Hello. Hello. There we go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Here, boss. Your phone. That's like the yeah. average American male. What's up, boss? How you doing, boss? I do have a tattoo that says boss here, by the way. But he's not a boss. I'm just a smoss. Yo, look at his plate. <laughs> Yo. Where's the heat from? Where's the heat from? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's Listen, communication is key. I told the transportation company, the broker, that these cars, one of them did not drive. And the guy gets here and he's like, what do you mean they don't drive? He had no idea. They didn't communicate with him. So he was stressed out. I was stressed out. But at the end of the day, we made it happen because that's what we do. It's all about persistent perseverance. You don't give up. You keep going until you get the job done. All you young people out there, they, if you come in a little problem and you don't know what to do and you just give up, you don't give up. You keep going and you keep going until the job gets done no matter what. All right, guys, we got the 69 Mustang back to our shop about four days ago. We had it in the shop. We did a little bit of work to it. As you remember, we had a little bit of leak coming out of the carburetor. So we pulled the carburetor apart. We re rebuilt the carburetor. So that's all done. We had a power steering line that was leaking. We fixed that. And it's all good to go. I got a client that will be here on Monday, so in three days. They already gave me a deposit on it. They're going to take it. It's ready to go. Runs and drives. We got the first one sold. Let's look at the 67. The 67 transmission was no good. We had issues with it. We took it apart. The tranny was shot. So the tranny's been dropped in this one. Tranny's out of it. We got the Flowmaster exhaust all set up, ready to go on it. We gave it a tune-up. It runs good, but we have to also get the transmission back in. Did a little bit of body work to it. We're gonna bring this one down, get rid of all this Bondo, and then we're gonna send it out to paint. So this one's gonna have brand new Flowmaster exhaust. It's gonna have a brand new rebuilt transmission. It's gonna be painted. The rest of the car is already good. It's got disc brakes on it, power steering car. Yeah, when this car is done, it's gonna be really, really nice. It's gonna have fresh paint on it. Tires are brand new. It's got the Willwood brakes on it. It's got disc brakes all the way around. I mean, power steering, it's gonna be a nice car. Now this one, we're doing a little bit more than the other one, and the reason being is this car is so clean underneath. The undercarriage is beautiful. The interior is done. The client did most of the mechanical work. We are finishing it off with the transmission, so this car is gonna be a real nice car. And it will be up for sale soon. By the time this video comes out, it'll probably be already sold. But I love cars where they're done top to bottom. We don't usually do a whole lot like that. We'll buy a car and we'll do a quick flip. But this one, we wanted to do it right for Tom. If you're watching Tom, we appreciate you. We're praying for you. We hope you do good. We bought them both in Michigan. We got one sold already. This one should be done. We're doing a ton of work to it. We're going to make it right. We'll get it off to the next buyer. And it'll be a win-win. We had a fun trip out in Michigan. We're making money on these cars. 69 was sold before we bought it. The 67, we did good work to it. Got it sold. We appreciate you checking us out. If you liked our trip, hit the like button, subscribe. We got more classic car chasing coming up soon. Appreciate you guys. Take care. Later. Oh, you got to get this good footage here. I know. Look at all these businessmen. This guy was all over the road. He was previously. He was driving all over the road. The guy in front of me called 911 on him. He crashed into the wall. What did he do? Bro. He don't care. Dude. That thing is ripping. Bad, dude. I fell Damn. asleep. Yeah, if we can get that shipped and get another deal done on the road, that would be perfect. So one today on the road. Yeah. We can do no paperwork. Yeah, we can do paperwork, everything. Wire, yeah. We can send a big wire. That's how you do it, boys. Buying and selling on the road. <laughs> right, we're already buying the cars. We already sold the cars that we're buying. It's another day in Ohio. Alright guys, we just got off. We have a check engine light. I've driven this car 12,000 miles. I haven't had a problem with it. It's an old beater Honda. I know I shouldn't take a car like this on a big trip, but it saves me money on gas. I'm hoping, I forgot to shut this tight last time, but I don't know. We're gonna check the oil, make sure everything's good before we get back. As long as we got oil and we ain't leaking coolant, I'm happy. It's wet outside. It's possibly maybe a coil got wet. Uh, 
It's a little low, not much. I mean, we're right here. Should be good. Let's hopefully it'll start back up. I mean, the car's operating fine. It could be something minor. Or it could be something major we just blow up on the highway. Yeah, something, but, something light. Guys, we are in Michigan. We are in a town called Novi, the outskirts of Detroit. It's snowing here. It's cold here. Hold on. The guy said these cars were garage. Hopefully they're nice. We'll see when we get there. Boy, y'all call me crazy. No way. Yeah. There's no way. It's flickering out here. I'm freezing. How do you here we are, boys. Check it out. When you're a high, big baller, classic car dealer, you're staying in the five star hotels. This is like a suite in here. Come on. This is like a suite in Michigan, not in PA. <laughs> you gotta get this on the tape. It's my dad's fitness center. Let's check it out. Here we go, guys. Take you a tour. Oops. All right, you guys want to go up in the room? Can we change? No. You're working out? You're not changing or anything? Work out? God, that's straight. God, that's baller. <laughs> Yo, that's baller. No pre-workout or nothing. <laughs> that's baller. <laughs> straight off the 10 hour drive. <laughs> Going straight in the bus. <laughs> but it's grind. Yo, 10 hour drive, straight 24 hours. I can come back in But that's grind. Get a little bitty for the road. Sit in. Oh, sit in. Come on. Thursday. Yeah. Yo, at B Dubs, you know what it is? It's buy one, get one. We're not some fries, bro. No protein, guys. I'm scared. Yeah. Got the spiciest sauce. For Lana Rico. Huh? Too hot? No way. Oh, that is actually sick. I got smoke on the water, right? Are you got a tip jar? Try it. Oh, what kind of bendy straw is this, John? All right, taste test. It's low key buzzing right now. All right, guys, if you're ever in Novi, Michigan, you gotta check this place out. It's amazing. Coffee's great. The owner's great. People that work here are awesome. Support your small businesses if you're ever passing through. Outside of Detroit or near Detroit, you need to stop here, get some coffee. This place is awesome. Hey!